Uh, but before we get there, just want to acknowledge 9-11, um, September 11th, 2001. Um, you know, I, we talked to our team about it yesterday, and we got a chance to visit the memorial uh, when we went out to the Pinstripe Bowl, uh, the New York, uh, out there in New York City. And uh, it's incredibly powerful. And we actually talked a little bit. There was a thing on 60 Minutes yesterday. I don't know if you got a chance to see it, but – it, uh, and I shared it with our players at the end of our night practice on the field, brought everybody together, kind of an intimate moment for about 10 minutes. And uh, in 60 Minutes yesterday, they were talking about obviously what happened, but it was more in depth about the actual firefighters and the sergeants and the chiefs that led all of those firefighters. And it was just focused on the firefighters, so it wasn't disrespecting anybody else. It was just this is what it was about. And they had to give the command to go up. And uh, it's a very powerful story because as a leader, you know, you, this is not life and death. This is football. And uh, they had to give the command to actually go up in the buildings with 75 pounds apiece on their back going up 90 floors. So we kind of did an example of us, you know, and just kind of had a backpack of what 75 pounds feels like and carrying that 90 floors up knowing that that's probably the last time you're going to see your family, last time you're going to see your kids, last time you're going to hug your wife. That was the last time that morning to a lot of people and their families. And uh, But then they had the sergeants and the chiefs who gave those orders to go up. And they said not one person, not one firefighter asked why. Not one firefighter said no. I mean, what a story. I mean, we look at it and we – memorialize it and do all those things. But it's the individual stories of that heroic effort that day of our country and, um, and those firefighters and the, the, the policemen and women and everybody who were the first responders. And uh, it's just powerful. And so I wanted to make sure I shared that with them because you're constantly giving perspective as a leader, not to say you have it better than someone else. I, I don't believe that because I think everybody's own issues are their own issues and no issues are bigger than somebody else's issues. Uh, I'm a firm believer in that with mental health. But I also was, okay, we play a game and we got a little tired here and there. Okay, and what, and, and, and what floor do you, do you, do you, uh, you stay on in, in that beautiful new field house? Oh, I stay on floor four, coach. Okay. Do you go on the stairs or do you take the elevator? Well, I take the elevator. Oh, for four floors? Okay, here's 75 pounds on your back and go 90 to go save people, knowing you're never going to come back. Would you do it? And uh, they all did it for the people that told them to go do it. They did it for those families. They didn't do it in fear of it. And that's leadership at its finest. And that's hard to swallow because there were so many people, you know, 2,997 people were, were killed that day approximately right there I think that's the right number and uh just a just a really powerful day for us to just remember you know how how grateful we should be for all the things that we do have we're not perfect our country's not perfect uh but uh we do have a lot to be grateful for and uh, I'm grateful for the football team I'm grateful to be the head football coach here on days like today it really it, it brings that full circle and I want our teams to be a really grateful football or a team to be a really grateful football team and do it for each other. Never do it in fear of each other or for each, but do it for each other. So anyway, I thought I'd start by just uh, just starting with 9-11 and obviously being the anniversary of it. Uh, we all remember where we were that day. So uh, many thoughts, prayers uh, out there to all those families that uh, lost anyone or knew anyone uh, on that day. So with that.